Hey guys, welcome back to another Optiway tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am gonna show you how to create this paint splash animation without using any plugin. So let's get started. Okay guys, as always, let's start with a new composition. And this one, I will cover this paint splash. For the resolution, let's go with 500 by 500 resolution, 24 frames per second. And for the duration, I'm gonna go with 5 seconds and background color black is good for now and hit OK. Now I'm gonna add a stroke so let's go to toolbar and select this pen tool without any fill. Let's go with a stroke with a white stroke ok and I'm gonna just draw a simple line like this. If you want to control the stroke you can go here and play with the bit. As you can see I think 33 is good and let's also rename this as a paint line i'm gonna select this and press enter and then let's go this paint line okay perfect now let's also add a drop so go to toolbar and select this ellipse tool this time we don't need any stroke so i'm gonna disable this stroke and enable the fill okay and let's go with white fill and i'm gonna just draw this ellipse like this and let's press ctrl alt home on your keyboard this will reset the anchor point i'm gonna select the selection tool and let's select this layer and place it somewhere around here okay perfect now let's go with this paint drop now let's animate the paint line so i'm gonna go to paint line let's open this up go to add and add a trim path Okay, perfect now i'm gonna go to zero second let's open the trim path we can animate the in position like that so in the zero second i will set this value to zero let's go to 12 frame forward and i'm gonna just crank this up to 100 now we need to uh, link the paint drop to paint line using this uh, create null from path script so i'm gonna go to paint line and shape one here we can see this path one so let's select the path one let's go to windows and select this create null from path script this script will give you three options and we need this trace path option so i'm gonna just click this trace path this will trace our path okay and after we also create this uh, null that follow the path so as you can see if you just go through the timeline we can see it's moving now i'm gonna just go to effect control and we don't need this so i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this progress stopwatch icon this will remove the expression we also need to remove this progress keyframe so i'm gonna just click it it will remove and let's set the uh, progress bar to back to zero okay now let's also animate this trace path so i'm gonna just press this paint line and press u on my keyboard to reveal the keyframe so let's go to zero second and let's select this trace path null and create a keyframe for the progression bar in the zero second now let's go to 12 frame forward again and set this to 100 now as you can see the null is following that trim path just like that now we can simply uh, parent this uh, paint drop to this uh, null now select this null and just pick pip this to this animated null this will follow this uh, paint drop just like that super easy and now let's select this all these layers and press u on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes now i'm gonna just select all of these keyframes and press f9 on my keyboard to ease this let's go to graph editor and here i'm gonna use this speed graph okay and let's select the last keyframes and let's just drag it somewhere around here we need that snappy motion so i'm gonna select the plus keyframes and just drag it to the left just like that now if you check the animation as you can see it's start with the speed movement and the end it will slowly stop as you can see uh, now let's go to timeline back again now we can also animate the uh, stroke width so i'm gonna go to paint line again and let's open the paint line here we can go to shape one stroke one and here we can see this stroke width so i'm gonna go to zero second and create a keyframe for the stroke width let's select this paint line and press u to reveal all the keyframes now let's go back to 12 frame forward and i will just increase a little bit 
just like that now that's perfect now i'm gonna select these keyframes as well and press f9 to vcs now we need to create our main composition so i'm gonna go to project panel we can just click here to create a new composition let's go with full hd resolution and let's go with this paint composite let's go with 24 frames per second and 5 seconds for the duration and i'm gonna hit ok here we can just drag and drop our paint splash just like that as you can see now we have this line animation let's hide it for now we need to add our splash so i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the ellipse tool let's just draw a ellipse like that i'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard to keep the proportion correct just like that now i'm gonna press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point now let's call this drop now we can animate this drop uh, just select the selection tool and i will select this layer let's go to zero second and press s to bring the scale properties i'm gonna hold shift and then press p this will also bring the position keyframe now we have position and scale both values now let's go to zero second and create a keyframes for this drop layer and let's go to 12 frame forward again and then just create a new keyframe again go to zero second so i'm gonna just select this and drag the layer around here now if you press the space bar as you can see we have this animation now we can also just reduce the scale of this layer so go to zero second and lower down this scale value of this layer as you can see i think uh, 65 is good let's see press the space bar okay perfect now i'm gonna just select these keyframes and press f9 to easy ease let's go to grab editor and I'm gonna just select this last keyframe and drag this to the uh, left side just like that we need that same snappy animation by the way I'm using speed graph okay now we need to play with this uh, paint splash so I'm gonna enable this again drag this to top of this stack just like that now I will just offset this just like that so we can get that offset animation now I'm gonna just place it somewhere around here you can also just select this layer and press ctrl d to duplicate now let's press r to rotate you have to just play with this position okay and i will just keep it like that and then press s to scale it down now i have five paint splash layers let's check the animation out i'm gonna go to two seconds and press n on my keyboard to in the composition here so let's see as you can see I think pen splash is a little bit late so I'm gonna select this top layer and then hold shift and click the bottom layer so it will select all of these splash layers and I'm gonna drag this to left side yeah I think that's perfect now let's start with adding some effect press ctrl a to select all and then hold all of these layers now I'm gonna create a new composition so let's select this and let's go with this final paint drop and let's go with same setting and i'm gonna hit ok now let's drag this composition to the left just like that i'm gonna just drag and drop this paint composite layer now we have this if you check the animation as you can see it's the same animation now i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer so right click new and adjustment layer let's go with this effects now let's go to effect and preset and search for rough and edge effect make sure you select this adjustment layer and just double click this will apply the rough and edge effect now we can go here and play with the effect settings let's go with 50 and let's also increase the edge sharpness around 3 we can also increase the scale this way we can get that paint splash look as you can see now if you check the animation now we have this animation as you can see we have to just play with the scale we can also just increase the full resolution this way we can get the real look as you can see now i'm gonna just play with these settings until i satisfy with the result we can also go to paint splash composition let's drag it here and here we can also just play with the uh, stroke width as you can see when the uh, drop is start it will in the uh, 48 and then in the 12 frame i will set it to 31 just like that let's see a preview okay perfect now let's also play with the scale i think i like this one so let's also just do some adjustment 
let's increase the first stroke speed to around 60 yeah let's go back and check the animation yeah i think i like this one okay perfect as you can see you have to go back and forth and check the animation so i'm gonna go to two second mark and press n on my keyboard to in the composition here now we can start with adding some colors and now i'm gonna pre-compose this layer one more time so let's select these layers and right click and pre-compose this will be our splash composition this way we can add a background so i'm gonna right click new solid and let's go with this bg for background and i'm gonna go with uh, this pink color you guys can just copy this pink color and hit ok and let's drop it down just like that now if you press the space bar as you can see now we have this nice uh, background we can also add some effect to the this splash layer so i'm gonna select this right click go to layer style i'm gonna add a inner shadow effect okay this will add that nice inner shadow so i'm gonna just open the inner shadow properties and increase the distance a little bit and then play with the size to get that nice gradient i will also reduce the opacity you don't need it too much now let's also add a fill effect so select this layer go to effect and preset and search for fill let's double click to apply the fill i'm gonna give a nice yellow color for this one you guys can just copy and paste this hex code as you can see now if you want to uh, different uh, combinations you can just duplicate this layer it's ctrl d to duplicate and search for mesh warp effect double click and here you can just place it anywhere you like because we have a duplicate and now just play with this mesh warp effect i'm gonna select this and we can use the exact same mesh with a different uh, mesh warp effect I will uh, speed this up process a little bit. Now we can just offset these layers to get an offset animation. And you can just add a different color if you want. As you can see, just play with the any color you like. And yeah and that's about it for this tutorial i hope you guys like this and yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace